Can we read Ephesians 2 verse 8? By Ephesus 2 verse 8. Yes, read. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And that not of yourself. It is a gift of God. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I want us uh, to understand faith. Faith. Where we are reading, the Bible says, the grace has drawn us closer to Christ. Not because of our abilities. In other words, it's not for ourselves. It's not out of ourselves. It's a gift. And listen to this. This gift came through faith. Not long I was seeing that it is not easy to just believe God. That is why we can still preach to you. That is why we can still preach to you. You won't understand. That's why the Bible says it is a gift of God. That is why Bible says if it is not given to you, you force it to yourself. You are still going not to have it. You need this through faith. So what is it required from you is to have faith. So to be able to receive this gift. This is the last thing on that verse. It says, "Now we are in Ephesians two verse eight. Now 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 we are in Ephesians two Except Except there, is there is nothing that will come your way, that will come your way from, God, from God except through faith. Except through faith. Because if you read here, you see the Bible says, the grace has drawn us closer. The grace came through love of God. But it needed us to have faith to receive that grace that took us closer to God. Not, we are still far away from God. Let me say it again. We are undeserved. This is the gracious gift But when we have faith, we receive things whereas we are undeserved. That's what faith works. It has brought things when we are not fit. For them. But look at this verse in Hebrews 12. Verse 2. Looking away from all that will distract us, Amen. focusing our eyes on Jesus, Amen. who is the author and the finisher of our faith. What he did, Jesus, Jesus. when faith came to us. He made Jesus our example. We begin to see that the one we take from is not our brother. It's not our father. It's not our family. It's Jesus. When, the faith, when faith rises in you, Jesus become example. Can you just read verse 12 there? Verse 2. I mean, verse 2, yes. Verse 2, sorry. You said what? Hebrews. Yes, 12. He says what, Mama? <coughs> Let me just put it. Hebrews 12, verse 2. By Hebrews 12, verse 2, it says, oh. You're not getting it. 
looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Mama, I want this verse, we know it, but I want us to read it. Read it again. Arriba uh -huh. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The Bible is saying here. Bible is saying here. The moment when you receive Jesus, when you receive Jesus, you start to have faith. You receive Jesus by faith. Now, your example is Jesus. Now, the verse is talking about what Jesus did. He says, Jesus never look at the shame ah, of the cross. How we are as He look ahead where there is a throne. Therefore, it means faith when we have it, though it will be challenged. Our focus is where we are going. So our example here is Jesus. Though there were challenges on him, in his heart was to finish God's work and to found himself on the right side of the world. Faith, when you have it, you will be challenged. But your focus matters. Where are you looking at? Jesus despised the shame. There's a shame. And there's a challenge. It's looking for your faith. But when you have that faith, open your eyes to see where you this year, wow. your eyes must be open to see where you're going. Don't be distracted by, what, by the things that are coming your way. Because challenges will come because of faith. When Jesus was preaching about the word of God, he says challenges will come because of the word. The word that brought faith in you. The word which is the channel to, of the word to your heart. I mean, faith which is the channel of the word to your heart. So that faith will be challenged so that, so that the, the word must not enter your heart. And and this will distract your faith. So I don't want to be distracted this year. Tell your neighbor, I don't want to be distracted. I believe what he has spoken. Though there is a shame, though there is difficulties, though there is poverty, my eyes will always look up to Jesus. As my example, we need to take Jesus as an example. Read that verse again. I want, I want this verse to be our judgment. It says what? Read verse 18. Read that verse again. Read verse 18. Read verse 18. Read verse 18. Read verse 18. I forgot my iPad today. It says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and has been set down at the right hand of the throne of God. If you read that verse, you read it several times. Several times. You will see that Jesus' faith made him to look at the throne. There was a joy that was set before him. 
Not what is happening around. There are many things that are happening around us. To make us not to look at the joy. What are we not discussing? That's why many Christians today are hopeless. That is why we are so unsure of what to do. Because their faith is affected. Today you must look at what has been said. You must look at what has been said. Where you are going. Not what you are facing now. Because what you are facing now, devil is using it. Take away the joy that was said before. I don't know if you are hearing me. If we read the book of Matthew 26, from verse 31 to 35, you will see our Lord Jesus more than Jesus. Telling the disciples that all of you will turn and run away. But you will see a person that will be tested in his faith. Who is Peter? He said things that he will never do. He said things that he will never do. He said all will turn away, but not me. Because whatever you say when you have got faith, you are not going to be tested. You are not going to be tested. Don't ever think it ends there. It you will be tested of what you say. Can you just read verse thirty-one? Verse thirty-one. Then Jesus said to them. All of you will be made to stumble because of me this uh -huh. night. This night. Yes. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd uh -huh. and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter answered and said to him, even if all are made to stumble because of you, I will never be made to stumble. Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you that this night before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I have to die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. Listen to this. When you have faith, you always stand by your words. Peter was saying this without having faith. When you have faith, you always stand by your words. You could hear Peter say, Me, I can rather die with you. He didn't have the word of God in him. Promises that will never keep. In the media, you see that Peter's faith was tested. Jesus said, All of you, all of you, this is what will happen to you. They were supposed to have said, Jesus, you don't want to do that, please. Help us not to do that. Peter stood up and said, With pride, me, they can rather do that, but not me. There are some people today, you spoke words, not knowing that you will be tested. Because whatever you were saying was from your heart. When the challenges come, they'll be searching for those words you have spoken. The words you have received in your heart. The words you believe. And the words you receive from God. Those challenges are searching. If you cannot be challenged and you fall from the words you speak, whatever you say, it will come to pass. I don't know if you're hearing that. If you cannot be challenged, I mean, if you can be challenged and you still stand in your ways, you'll be surprised when you speak something it will happen. I don't know if you're hearing me. Reach a level where when the challenges come, 
you just stand on the words you have believed. Unoema wena manchinga la wa bulichi watumela. Manchala udumela wona wa bulichi. Jesus said Peter I'm hearing you. Kiawutwa. But you are still going to be denying me three times. Ah wena tongana hararu. Many times when you say me Charis I'll die Charis here. Ah wena utoma bulera na Charis kitoshwa gara Charis. Don't even say it. Don't even say the challenges will come. Searching for the challenge you thought that in your control we will achieve. Because whatever you believe, whatever you say, it out is faith. Now we will tell you. Whatever you say, you believe from the scripture. Even what you speak out. Into we we do melangi chomoli inchinki into we utata we will end. The things that are searching. Ino ba karlo ya dinto chedi nyake. The results you need in life. O nyake amu bu puto o thang mu bu pilo. I don't know if you are hearing. I get several into. Don't just talk. Oskano bole la fail. You make promises. Remember that you have to go through some challenges. You can end up denying Christ. If you look at those verses there, you will see that it's only Jesus who was left alone when other people ran away. Maybe Jesus was supposed to have said to them, you people, you are still weak. You cannot face this challenge. So just run away. Because sometimes, even when you are watching your TV, when you are weak, you just run away. Don't stick to yourself. Say, "Me, I'm strong." Because it will challenge your faith. You will see challenge some programs that will affect your faith. So Jesus was supposed to have told them, "Listen, this is my test of my faith." So run away. Run away. Don't stick to yourself. Say, "Me, I'm strong." Because it will challenge your faith. You will see some programs that will affect your faith. So Jesus was supposed to have told them, "Listen, this is my test of my faith." So run away. You are going to be disappointed. I don't know if you're hearing me. I get the balance. When Joseph faced the challenge like that, that from Potiphar's wife, he said, hey, I can you stay and just entertain this? Let me run away. You are running away. You are saving your family. You are running away. You are saving your family. You are running away. You are saving your family. You are running away. You are saving your family. You are running away. You are saving your family. You are running away. You are saving your family. You are running away. You are saving your family. You are running away. You are saving your family. You are running away. You are saving your family. You are running away. You are saving your family. You are running away. You are saving your family. You are running away. You are saving your family. You are running away. There are some people. There are some family people. That need to go away from them. Because of your faith. If you look at Matthew 21, 21. Matthew 21, 21. Jesus shows that if you cannot be divided. I want us to look at, to read the verse. You listen to it. Your ways will produce results. Matthew 21, 21. It, it says, says what? So Jesus answered and said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. Here Jesus was telling the disciples the price, that the, the, the fruits of faith the moment when you have faith, it will have some fruits. You'll be surprised even your words can remove a mountain. I don't know if you're hearing that. Jesus was saying that. He says, It's not this that was done, it's over with it. Your words, when you are faithful, can change the nature. There are some natures you need to change today. Tell me, there are some natures you need to change today. There are some situations you need to change today. You need faith. If you have faith, you can master it. You will speak with this mountain. And it will move. I want to see changes this year. Out of the words from your mouth. If you believe, say amen. So this is a promotion. 
of hearing what faith can do. How go it to me lo yei kata ya dia. It's not only to take the word of God to your heart. As taba ya challenge go lo kala kara pelo fela. Even to take it out of your heart to out of your mouth. Li tswe mo pelong li tsena molomo li tswe ka molomo. Speaking it out it does something. Ha o le bolela le yelo yo dia se sengwe. You know this week we were waking uh, uh, there where we were waking. Beke ye ne ri shuma kai kai. I just hire three boys there. Ke no vitsa ba shimanya ba ba raru ba ba ngwe ka ba hira. When we were waking waking there. I'm really busy ri shuma. I ask him. Ke bo tsha o mo ba shimane mola. Are you married he say no. Ke ro nye tshena ra a wa. These two. Ba 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 di ba. These two they are married. Ba ba ngwe ba ba di ba nye tshi. And this boy is a very hard worker but he doesn't have power, you know. And I'm shimana o shuma ku do mara mata ha. You see, you know when you look at the boy you see that this one work very well. Uh, this, one, one, this one he loved to work where he doesn't have power. Oh, he's carrying a stone. You see, if you want to see, they give them the same stone. You see another one carried by angel, another one carried by straight. You see, this one is very, very weak. But he to work. And, and you understand why he's not getting a, a wife. Because he's weak. Because he's weak. Because he's weak. Because I mean, ladies, when they they look at you, they just look, is he weak or strong? So when you are proposing, they look at your weakness. Why you walk like he's drunk? 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 Why you walk like So I gave him one word. I said, because now you have worked with me. Now you are going to get jobs. He says, uh, you know, I've got six months. Since I came from Malawi, I'm not working. I said, it doesn't matter. You're going to get jobs. I work with him on Thursday. Friday. On Saturday, he got a job. Because our words. Listen, your words. When you speak it, before you produce those words, when you have faith in your heart, there will be challenges to shake you. If you do like this, even your words, they do like that. I don't know if you're hearing that. So don't ever think you will just speak things and it will happen. You have to be challenged first. When the words are inside you, challenges will come your way. Poverty, sickness, I don't know if you are hearing that. Those things are there to push you. Just stick yourself to the word. When you are doing that, your eyes are on Jesus. When your eyes are on Jesus, All the winds that are blowing will come down. down. You will reach your destiny. That is faith for you. Look what Peter did. Just look at this scripture we read there. Let's leave Peter. We we'll look at this scripture. Matthew 21:21. Matthew 21:21. Read that scripture again. Look what Peter did. When Jesus said, "Come to me," and the Bible says he walked on the water. But because of the wind, he looked there and there. La pifo, le atiba, le bela kuale, le kuale. The eyes of faith are important. Mato atumelo. Read that verse again, Mama. Mark chapter. Matthew 21, the same verse. Manamola nerevalagon. Yes. It says, So Jesus answered and said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. And whatever thing you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. James 1 verse 3. Just read James Jacobo 1 verse 1 verse 3. Yes. You see, your faith 
Your faith must be tested. Stand on those ways. When you are standing on the way, it's like you are moving. You are moving towards where God has destined. And when you speak, and how tomorrow when you are grounded with faith, after you've overcome all this test, you will see the results. Verse 3. Chapter. James 1, verse 3. Chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Only that. Yes. Just read amplified. Testing of your faith produces patience. Testing of your faith produce what? Patience. In other words, because, in, in other words, testing of your faith makes you matured. When you are matured is when you wait for God. You wait, you receive only what God can give. Do you know that some things you have, 99% might not be from God? If they are not from faith. So when you are being challenged, Tested on your faith. What you receive is from God. What's from God will never give sorrow. It will never give shame. Listen, even if you're not receiving anything, because there's hope in you, you can see where you're going. Though you are being challenged around you, your eyes can be open to see the promised land. The blessing that God has bestowed so for you. So when you are being tested, maturity comes. Can you just read that verse 3 in Amplified? Be assured that the testing of your faith through experience produces endurance leading to spiritual maturity and inner peace. Mm, that verse is, is pregnant with something. Verse Read it again. Listen, listen to the verse. Be assured uh -huh. that the testing of your faith through experience produces endurance leading to spiritual maturity and inner peace. What is experience? What you are going through, what you went through. All these challenges you are going through. The challenges you are going through. When you endure. When you are holding on. Maturity comes. Can I tell you this? There are people. Who do things with God. There are people who do things for God. There are people who do things from God. But there are also people who do things and God. Those are matured people. So when you become mature, you do things with God. You work on the project of God. Listen to what God says to Abraham. We are going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. But we must tell Abraham. We are going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. If we don't tell Abraham, it will be wrong because Abraham is going to be very big. It will be wrong because Abraham is going to be very big. It means by then Abraham was small. But he believed God, he had faith. Whatever you are going through now doesn't matter. You might be small, but you are doing things with God. There will be a time where you become mature. And you produce things only God approves. I don't know if you are hearing me. I can say, you produce things only God.
God approves. There is a certain time for you. You are being challenged. But today, that faith will produce results. I say the faith you have will produce results. Don't be discouraged because nothing is happening. Whoever has to move forward must be pressed down. Must be casted out. Must be rejected. Must lose all. But in the process, he endures. He reaches his destiny. I see you reaching your destiny. You have faith. Don't throw it away because of your problems. Don't throw it away because of rejection. You have faith. Don't destroy it because of circumstances. You can see beyond. Do it like Caleb. Who said, I understand the report. But God has promised that we will see that blessing. Let's he has promised. We believe. We believe because he has spoken. We will see the land. Don't be discouraged. Have faith. In God. There is something that God wants to do today. Because of your faith. When other people are discouraged, ah, rise up and say, I still when believe what God has spoken. I still believe what God has spoken. In my life, he said, beyond time, where I am, is a process to the destiny that God is taking me. So I cannot die here. But your enemies are looking at you. Despise this church. Do it like Jesus. See beyond the challenge you are going to. Tell somebody I am see beyond my problems. I am see beyond. Challenges. I see beyond my sickness. I see beyond my limitations. I can see that God is taking me. I can see that God is taking me. I can delay for a while. But the Lord has spoken. His promises are yes and amen. Are about to enter. When God has spoken, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Because his power to my destiny. If you believe, shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In fact, but say, but say. I feel this is on a sheet of Jonah. La Jonah. You're asking yourself, oh God, we push up, Papa, we. can I reach there? No. Those people are my enemies. Hey, but, 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 but. Oh, it's better, I think. No, Let me run away from his presence. Hey, can, can I tell you this? God said, God said hey, when you go under the sea, you're on my eyes. He knows what you're going through. He knows what you're going through. Do you have faith? 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 Faith like of Abraham. Abraham. When he looked around, people were laughing. But what shame. shame! They are only two. Shame. shame! They are saving God. But, but this God is not answering. Oh shame. shame! Oh shame. shame! But God said, Abraham, Abraham, don't listen to them. Get up from, from your house. Look down. What are you seeing? See? Oh, Abraham. 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 Abraham.
and he was alone because you need to reach a point where you are alone where you cannot be distracted you were with people you share their visions with them they won't understand you because God sometimes he takes you alone and take you out and say what are you seeing you say sent I'm sisters and go say Abraham if you can count stars if you can count this sent your children will be like this I'm here to prophesy you I'm taking you out where there is no opposers where there is no friends where there is no enemies where there is no unbelievers I say what are you seeing what are you seeing I'm here to tell you what you are seeing what you are seeing don't doubt it the Lord the Lord is about to take you there is about to lift you I feel the Lord lifting you up to a destiny you never thought of if you believe shout hallelujah if you believe shout hallelujah I'm see cars where there's no garage I'm see houses where there's no house I'm see victory where there's a loser I see God lifting you I see God lifting you I feel like you're not hearing me because of the problems you encountered. This is the same God who created heaven and earth. Without this earth, you don't have a place to stay. It's the same that has destroyed the enemies of Daniel. It's the same that has destroyed the enemies of Israel. It is the same God who took Moses who was failing to talk to his assignment. It's the same God that will lift you today for your assignment. Fear nothing. It is your time. Your assignment doesn't have faith. Don't doubt. Whatever you say, you will receive. If you believe, shout hallelujah. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Sit down. Too long, fast. Verse 14. Okay, look at the scriptures. And here I'll be closing. Go to Numbers 13. Numbers 13. 25. Mary 13, 25. This story, don't forget it. It's part of you. Yes. And they returned from spying out the land after 40 days. They returned. Can I go forward? Yes. Now, they departed and came back to and came back to Moses and Aaron uh, and all the congregation of the children of Israel in the wilderness of Paran. Yes. Carry on. At Kadesh. Uh -huh. They brought back and showed them the fruit of the land. Then they told him and said, We went to the land where you sent us. Listen very carefully when she's reading this. Okay. We went to the land where you sent us. Uh -huh. It truly flows with milk and honey. Stop there. This shows that <laughs> they, <laughs> they agree that what God has spoken but was true. They were not lying. God was <laughs> not lying. And carry on. Uh -huh. Then they told him and said, we went to the land where you sent us. It truly flows with milk and honey. And this is its fruits. 
Nevertheless, yes. the people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are forfeited and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. Huh? The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. The Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains. Uh -huh. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea and along the banks of the Jordan. Yes. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses okay. and said, Let us go up at once and take possession. For we are well able to overcome it. Carry on. But the man who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they gave the children of Israel a spy out, saying, The land through which we have gone as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants. My God. And all the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature. Stop there. I want to speak something there. Can you see these people? After they spy the land, on the road they say, they built up lies to convince that we need to turn back from what God has spoken. They said, Bare. the land devours its own. It means God wants us to go to a place where we will die. Read, continue. Listen. 33. There we saw the giants, the descendants of Anak, come from, sorry, come from the giants. This scripture. And we were. Yeah, this scripture is very, very important. And we were like gross, grasshoppers in our own sight. And so we were in their sight. You heard that scripture? Amen. What makes them to create all these lies was their eyes. It's not what God has spoken. They say when they look at themselves, they see themselves as grasshoppers to them. And they say, hey, no. We are grasshoppers. We can't enter them. The problem here is how you see. God has spoken. This guy said, let's go at once. Another one said, you know when I see. I can't reach there. They create things. They look at themselves as grasshoppers. They forget what God has spoken. Many times we look at ourselves as something else. What is it that God has spoken? What is it that God has spoken? How can you say the land devour its own? This is the promised land. But when you look at yourself, you feel you can't reach there. You know one day I did this. Don't, don't be surprised. I, I went to a place, I asked myself, why these people stay here? I, I want to tell you this. I, I look at that. I say, why do these people stay here? Why are they And why these people are staying here? And why these ones are staying there? And why If you go to these ones who are staying in this section, you take them to where they are mentioned. And they and say, say, you can stay there. They look at themselves. But they don't take the word that is spoken. The word that was spoken is, you also can stay here. God is taking you here. Same applies to prophecies. A prophecy comes when you are not 
thinking when your mind and your perspective is in a socket and you cannot think beyond like you are here today you are thinking about your job but you can't think about it you can hire you people you look at yourself but you hear a prophet say you will have your company and you still struggling where you are working you question how come this is the same God that is speaking when you yeah, take it by faith it will come to pass in your life if you believe shout hallelujah. hallelujah let us all stay what are you doing with your faith when I would young cut to me lawyer how you are still doubting. Me? Na. I cannot be a president. That is why today. If you go to where people, the leaders, you find that one percent is Christians. What a tolore our one percent give up police. Mobile tapil. When we found counselor is a hater. Minister. Does he know God? You find only one percent. The problem is Christians. When they look at themselves, doubt rises. They become double minded. And they fail to receive from God. Today, let's sing the song of the blood. Of Jesus. Was share for me. This minute when we'll be going to pray, we ask God to help us in our faith today. We are in one body of Christ. If you rise, you can also know that another one will rise. Don't look at yourself and say I won't rise. If you saw someone rise, even you believe you rise. The blood the blood of Jesus was shed for me. Shall never lose his power. Sing that song and sing it with joy. Don't sing it lifting up your hands. Sing it with excitement. Sing, Mama. Oh yes, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus was shed for me. Shall never lose His power. I know the blood of Jesus, the blood.
it says, when you see a Christian who's facing limitation, don't judge that Christian. It's not yet over until God, God says over. Because the blood of Jesus is still working even today. One more time, sing that song. Yes, Lord. The blood, the blood of, of Jesus, Jesus was shed for me. It means you don't need to lose your faith. Lift up your hands. Ask God to renew you again. Thank to you, cleanse Jesus. you again. To sanctify you again. Prayer. Prayer. Carry on playing. Allow God to do that. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen.